All right, everybody, welcome. We are doing moths only, but that means you can use anything with moth in its name. So that is the actual moth, the silk moth, moth man, uh, mammoth, and behemoth. Those are the five things you can use. You are also allowed sloth. You are allowed any food and any sort of summons during the fight. And anything goes to the shop phase. But other than that, please, only moths. So, can I find one? There we go. <laughs> can I find another one, please? Alright, let's be the salty pots. 70 seconds is a good time length. Yeah, I think we had it at 65 before, but I can't remember. Because I did some, like, custom practice stuff earlier. Say earlier, it was a few days ago. And um, I changed all of my settings, and I couldn't remember what they were. <laughs> so yeah, I took a stab at 70, and it feels alright. Hey, soap moth, nice. Okay. Um, so front one is very likely to just explode. So I think I should do it this way, but also, how useful is it to have a 1-3 getting more HP? Yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll send it that way. See what sort of... 10 ones people had. There's a mouse there, which should not be there. And there's actually a handful of people that did find <laughs> three things to use. 65 was stressful. I don't know, these things are always stressful on the first turn, because they added the... I don't know, the, the turns get um, longer as you progress, up to a point. I don't know if it like caps out at like the fifth turn or something, but... Yeah, it's hard for me to explain everything on the first turn now. Alright, that's not a problem. Alright, cool. Your team is 1-1 one, one stronger than Kino's. Congratulations. Alright, what am I doing? I can't remember what the Sphinx does. Friend summon, give it one attack, or friendly level up. Plus one, plus one. I don't know if I care about that. What do yours do? Break, give anything HP. I may go for that one instead, if I can find a, a guy. Um, or not. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I'm going to be going for level up, so I'm just going to do this one. So you get more attack. There's a Mothman. So yeah, Mothman. Faint, deal two damage to one enemy with ailments. And I did put in wall chicken, so if anyone wants to give themselves ailments, then uh there you go. Alright. I don't I can't tell if I want a moth at the front or if I should still just have like a silk moth. Because these I feel like these guys aren't going to get much value. Out of their ability anyway. Like these guys have kind of a bad ability at the moment, but good stat line. These guys have a good ability, but a bad stat line. The sub to the front to make it an 8 1. I'm not gonna run into anything with 8 HP though. It's just not necessary. Oh, we're gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sky. Alright. So if I combined, I wouldn't really care. There's maybe some stuff I can use the tier 4, but honestly, we're just waiting for the, the big boys at tier 6. Alright, so I'm going to stack you. Buy this as it is, and don't bother resetting the magic carpet. And yeah, I'm gonna roll. I could rice. It'd make it nice to sell stuff later. Throw this down. Yeah, I think I'll just stack that. There's another one. Okay. Um, so I definitely want you further forward. We do it this way, maybe? I definitely want one of these at the back, because I feel like I'm just not going to get anything actually useful out of it. Looking forward to the Mega Behemoth teams. Oh yeah. Anyone that survives to the late game, it is just going to be like a big behemoth off. And I cannot wait. Alright, double Mothman. We didn't trade. That's bad. I think I would have lost anyway, but yeah, I was really hoping I'd be able to one-shot something there. Okay. So if I combine here, is there actually anything I'm looking for? I genuinely don't think so. Because I'd have to stack those, unless I stack here. Which I guess is fine, but that doesn't give us anything, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to buy this. Um, I actually think I am going to stack again, just so I can get the fairy toy. Let's say freeze turtle, because that's like the best way to get melon here. Mm. Never mind, I messed up. Let's buy these, and then roll for a pill. Don't care about food dog. Let's just keep buying stats. I think it's, I think it's worth something. Alright, do it this way. You're definitely going to die, so I'm actually going to swap those two around. This is also very likely to die, but if it runs into a default Silk Moth, then we may be able to get some value out of the level 2 other Silk Moth. Oh, he lives. He only got one extra hit off, but 
it was worth it. And I do want to freeze this, but we already have the turtle ready, so just keep buying stats for the stuff I already have. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting tons of stats, I'm loving this. I do need equipment. I don't mind having an open slot, but if I don't have like a shield on something, then there's no guarantee that anything's going to like survive a, an important hit. I'm also interested in seeing if anyone's running... Oh, see, they have a, they have a melon already. Does anyone have weakness? Oh, <gasps> someone does. One person has weakness. Toilet paper also makes things weak. What gives you toilet paper? I can't remember what to like toy pet that is. There's another one here. More melon. Another. Okay, so there's actually a handful of weakness around. So Mothman has targets. It's possible. Cuddle Toad can make something weak. You're right. Yeah, this is the Cuddle Toad one. Okay, so there's actually two pets that can make stuff weak. Hmm. Hello, Mothman. Um, I am going to buy this. I'm almost definitely going to end up combining them together when I find a pill, because I do want to pill this turtle. I think. Probably. Um, for now, though, let's buy one of those. And I think we freeze this. I, I think I want to buy that at tier 5. And honestly, I can maybe just kind of forget the turtle for now. And what are you? I could try and keep that frozen, because if I do find a good combo, it's, um, you know, at tier 5 to find a tier 6. And if my tier 6 isn't one of these two, then I could use Water of Youth to try and turn it into something I want. But I don't think I freeze this yet. I think next turn I still need to hard roll for a pill or more avocados. Because honestly, I'm not going to be buying anything from the shop otherwise. Oh yeah, Bad Dog. Bad Dog as well. It's been a while since I made the pack. <laughs> oh. That's kind of rough. We do... We do survive. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. We stay at four. Um, yeah, so we're waiting on like, a lot of this. I may buy a banana. Um, let me end up combining those two together. I'm going to do this. And you know what? Let's just let's forget turtle. Yeah, sure. Just buy one. I'm not going to buy the other one. Show me another avocado. Perfect. Unless I throw a garlic down. Um, I'd rather try really hard to get the tier 6 that I want. And yeah, that's another thing there. Okay, so we have two combos next turn. I need to do this. Like, my front line is always going to be dead. Or maybe that way. So yeah, we'll chain them this way. We have two combos. We're hoping for Mammoth or Behemoth. Mostly just Behemoth. And if we find something that isn't those, then we're hoping to find the Water of Youth again. And then I will <laughs> risk combining and seeing what we get. Ouch. No, we had to trade so many things into it. Okay. Well, to be fair, they were on 1 HP, so... <laughs> they probably deserve that. Uh, there's a pill, and there's a cow. We'll be starting here, though. Alright, Questing Beast is kind of nice. I don't mind that. I could also, like, stack those together and buy a Team Spirit, and that's actually decent stats on everything. Which I'm pretty tempted to do, so I think I'm going to do that instead of Questing Beast. So, let's do that. Buy you for a second. I know I can't transform it again, because I'm not going to have money and whatever, but... We do get some stats. And there's a Behemoth! Okay. It was worth it. You can even buy sell this. Alright. Let's make him large. <laughs> okay. So, now we have an actual target for our Silk Moths. So I think I'm going to do it this way. There we go. The best moth. The Behe Moth. He's beautiful. These monkeys are doing nothing. <laughs> I still love them, but... Yeah, they are not trading well. Okay, yes. Um, I could potentially do something with an eagle. What are you? Nah, just, just roll for the pills. Just try and get XP on this thing. Faint. Cockatoo buffs the Mothman. And Stingray is just a nice toy to have, but I don't think I'd like stack these together just to get that out. So yeah, just XP in whatever forms you have. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm very tempted to freeze a Cyclops. Like, although it won't work with Bloodfish, but if I find a regular chocolate, then I can still maybe do something. 
So yeah, like freeze it for a couple of rolls. But yeah, very soon this guy is going to be way more important than like my entire team. So I'd be pretty happy to sell anything else or multiple things to like invest more. So much chocolate and another mammoth. What is that? We're fine. We don't win, but we're fine. <laughs> it's a two squad, but it's monstrous. Okay, I'm gonna roll twice, but yeah, questing beef and a mammoth. Okay, um, I'm selling regular moth. I'm just going to buy the. No, let's let's do questing beast. So yeah, buy sell that. We want Excalibur, I think, but then I'd have to move it to the back. So, I don't know. Maybe. We can just kind of ignore it for a while. I'm going to take this. I'm going to keep this frozen for a second. And we did find a pill. And this is where it gets horrible, because I need to have Cyclops and the Blobfish. So I'd have to get rid of two things. Which um, I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do it this way. Show me another behemoth. Please, hurry. Okay, I'm going to freeze you, because I feel like that's more likely to pay out. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. It's dumb, but I'm on 4 HP, so I stick by it. Another 2 squad! I'm on 3 HP. Hmm. Okay, so try these. I could get a Mammoth, potentially. I think I'm pretty happy to have another Mammoth on the squad. So, yeah, we can do that. Another Mammoth so I can combine everything? Ooh. Hold on. Roll for a pill? I'll just maybe buy the pair. We can do that and I can just, like, sell. I can double sell and get another Behemoth this turn. I am in. <laughs> oh yeah, and you're free! I forgot you were free! My god, it's been too long. Okay, so scale the back line. This is already looking pretty nice. Yeah, that should not be on the team. Xeno is very much cheating. Everyone else is looking pretty good, though. Pretty sure I saw a couple of peanut things up there, too. Yeah. Is Kino British? Yes. Oh, we're going to crush this. <laughs> they do not have enough attack. Oh, it was actually really close. Okay. Alright, another questing beast I do not need. Um, I'm kind of tempted to combine these. Or I can buy the questing beast and transform it, but I don't know if that's actually worth anything. I'm just going to buy sell these, I think, and roll. Alright, keep buffing up you. I will get rid of the cow. Um, I think mongoose would be very nice to have as a buy sell. No, because I already have a toy I like. I forgot I had a toy! <laughs> All right, Compato now. All right, let's buy the pizza. Yeah, that was a waste of two gold, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, I just need more. If I can get three behemoths, then I'll feel pretty good. Yeah, see, like, this team's got the right thing. They're not that big yet, but they're going. This one's scary. Double level two and already pretty large. I need protective equipment. <laughs> these, these things are too big. Yeah, I have to double trade into that. Um, Yes, so we do this. I'm going to try and level you next. Could I always Jurian just to try and get a better trade? Yeah, like buy sell this and then Jurian something. Give him put the Jurian, reduce most health the enemy by 33% before attacking once. It depends if it matters, because if I get to the point where my thing's just so much larger than other people's, then I won't need to reduce their HP, because these guys aren't going to trade by themselves. They're just stats for these. Eh, going to buy it anyway. Yeah, see, like, it doesn't do anything. I'm reducing its HP, but <laughs> then I still overkill it by, like, 30. Okay. Uh, don't make me buy a pairs. Yeah. This. Yes, XP. Amazing. Okay, so level you. We have we have another behemoth. Perfect. Alright. You go to the back so you can get the Excalibur scaling. 
these guys can still hang out there, and we're probably going to end up combining the mammoths to pill this onto the back line at some point. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to go for a full behemoth team. I'm hoping I would be able to, because, you know, these guys are 2-2 on everything every turn, but it's, you know, temporary. Whereas these things are actually scaling 2-2 each every turn, so... Yeah, the earlier I can get a full behemoth squad, the better, and I don't know if I've kind of missed that boat already. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know if I can beat this kind of team. There's still a lot of regular moths around. It's like, I, I think I can do okay with this. I don't know if it'd be a win, but okay. I do need to get better equipment, though. I need to... Yeah, would I be going for the tier 6 random thing, or should I just freeze turtles? I should probably freeze turtles. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, don't touch the mongoose. <laughs> Alright, so putting that there. Not going to bother with tomato. I could freeze this, because again, it's pretty likely to turn into something useful, but... Yeah, I already have things that I would like to do, and here is one of them. Couldn't buy sell cow before that, sadly. And another mammoth. Yeah, I think we go with that. I, I think this mammoth may be staying. And if not, we can always just like level it up, and if it shows a, a behemoth and we can pill it or something, then there's something useful there. I almost want a bad dog for the chaos, but <laughs> I lose I lose Excalibur. And Peach of Immortality, I think I may start buying. If the game lasts a long time, then this could be worth something. But yeah, we do need... We need actual equipment. Just having a Jurian at the front is not helping. Not much, anyway. I think that the behemoth goes past 50-50 scares me. Yeah, it's a weird sight. I'm like still not used to seeing this. They have peanuts. It's not going to be enough, but yeah. Was unfortunate for that one guy. Pill? No, I don't need a pill. <laughs> okay, buy Cyclops. Stack this. I don't know if he's staying or not, but like, why not? It's two. Love that. So we can't use the pill for anything, so I could just buy Sol Cow and end on another behemoth here. And then, yeah, we buy you. This is the squad. Okay. Keep it going. I am now unable to pill turtles unless I get rid of my mammoth. But I don't know. I can maybe pill mammoth and then do that, or I can just try and get stuff through the cornucopia. There's ways to do things. Lots of Aquino victory. I don't hate my team, but... Yeah, like, look at these guys. They're basically the same as me. And one of them has a lot of good equipment, and I have none. So it it's gonna depend. All roads lead to Behemoth. Indeed. Oh. Yes, triple trade! It's huge. Oh, but then I get bad trades. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Please, equipment. Anything good. A pill, no. Um, we probably won't need a raw wars. Oh, oh my god. We probably won't need a walrus because all my stuff is very, like, evenly statted. Except for frontline, but I can't guarantee anything onto that. So, yes, Cornucopia, please. Defensive equipment. That is not it, but I guess I'll take a pretzel. Alright, put that down there. I don't know whether I freeze an Anglerfish for another behemoth. I really don't think this is going anywhere. I, I don't know. I, I could freeze them all and we could maybe do that next turn. Cornucopia... Thank you, Peach of Immortality and Tomato. I'm going for the Peach. If I die this turn, then I die this turn. And that's just what happens. Alright, let's see. Made it to turn 18 either way. Like, that's not a bad game. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of equipment. It still traded well. Okay. <laughs> okay, we actually did have more stats than them, so we managed to punch through pretty nicely. And yeah, I'm, I think I'm selling the Mammoth, because if I get a normal Behemoth, it's going to be starting at 12-12, which is, you know, just fine. And it means I can buy sell this stuff, so. Goodbye, Mammoth. You will be missed. Alright, got some stats out of that. Behemoth, please. Get you there. Um, I could combine this turn. Oh. <laughs> Leave the peach. I do want to buy more, but I I really need protective equipment somehow. How close are we to the end? I mean, yeah, I could I could swap away from Excalibur now. If there's more time. Because I can still combine there and keep going. I was really hoping I'd find a pill and then 
<laughs> turtle or something. But we'll see. No! Okay, wait, they shuffled it. Okay, the shuffle saved me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sky. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm combining. I we need we need actual equipment. We're too close to the end game. Okay, so have actual protection coconuts. Um, I don't even know whether to go for the anglerfish again. Like, it's guaranteed behemoths basically. But does that save me? I need like turtles and stuff to pill. Freeze you. Yeah, just cornucopia. Popcorn. Don't mind a popcorn. And yeah, probably buy a tomato. No one has backline melon, but like maybe someone's not listening to me right now and will get backline melon. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. That, that's the order. That's what we're running. Maybe we could have just bought that final silk moth there for the backline, but that's looking pretty good. Yeah, we're fine. We we keep going. Top three. Come on. Just hold on to it. Maybe. Uh, fine. Look, we'll find Cornucopia or something. Okay, so we have another back line. There we go. Um, I could get Peach of Immortality, but we need equipment. Actual equipment, not grapes. Please. <laughs> could freeze you again in case there's another turn. If I'm not dead this turn. Garlic. Does garlic save me against anything here? Like, it's better than nothing, but... I, I still want to say no. Yeah, this, this is not it. Okay. Freeze that again so we can end on a thing. There's Cornucopia. <laughs> Alright. Alright, send that. Pill is clearly the best equipment. I actually do agree. Doesn't help me in this situation, though. Oh, it's beautiful! The trades! I think I'm still dead, but that was... Not dead. Didn't die to the clone. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, stack that into basically anything, doesn't really matter. And then we do a lot of buy-selling to get our coconut back. Alright, yeah, give me the coconut again. I would like another behemoth at the ready. And I should probably buy it right away. But we'll see. And orange? I mean, keeping stuff alive would be useful. Depends if I find better equipment than tomatoes, and <laughs> I feel like tomatoes aren't very good, so... Don't make me buy the tomato. Roll once. And we did find a pill, but we didn't find a thing to use the pill with, so yeah. Just buy this, roll again for better equipment. Cornucopia? Why is everything a tomato? I don't want tomatoes. Alright. Triple tomato would be decent. Would it? Against teams like this? <laughs> Against my team, Triple Tomato would be pretty good. <gasps> no, because we don't get summon. Okay, that was almost a clutch. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've been outmothed, but I'm happy with third place. It's not bad. Alright, GG's guys, and good luck to the two remaining. Good game, good game. Alright, hello everyone, welcome. We're doing frogs only in a custom pack that I made, so you can only use frogs and toads. So that means you can only use this frog, this cuddle toad, the toad here, poison dart frog, and loveland frogman. You can use all food equipment, you can use a sloth if you find it, and anything goes in the shop phase, but other than that, only these guys, please. Um, and there we go, we've already found a couple. Have another one ready for next turn as well. Love it, and let's be the sour dumplings. This guy is... I don't know, this guy's sad, and this guy's just kind of sleepy, so I don't think anyone's really sour here. All toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Yeah! Fairy dust and Loveland frog for scaling. Yeah. I've also put in onion, I think. I have, yes. So you can use, even though we don't have any jumpers, you can use some jumping stuff for these guys. And yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Doesn't really matter, but yeah. And... Those two... Oh, I don't know. Everything's going to get swapped around, but I don't care. <laughs> These two are going to get swapped, but I'm not sure how I'd position to still have, like, my two three twos at the front. I don't believe it's possible, because if I put another one back here to swap to the front, then these two are going to get swapped as well, and... Yeah. Onion counts as jumps? It does. Um, I made a jump pack video thing fairly recently, like a week ago, maybe. 
And I could get three Loveland Frogman triggers a turn because you could jump to the front with a normal jump ability, onion it to the back again, which counted as another jump, and then it would jump to the front again with this ability, and it was pretty crazy. Kino taxonomy stream when? Never. I don't know things. Alright, so I can do combinations, and we may be able to find a toad. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, combine these ones. And I could buy sell Foo Dog. Because I really want one of these, but it feels kind of weak. Yeah, I'll do it. There's not really much else I'm going to be looking for. And I could buy this, but again, it doesn't do anything other than give me some stats. Sphinx, no. Uh, send? Send? What do I want at this tier? Not really much of anything. Like, I can pill flamingos, maybe, and buy sell African penguins. And pill spiders. We need spiders. That. Uh. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I'm terrible at judging some of these things. More. Stack it. And I'm so tempted to buy the gingerbread man just for the 1 1 buff, but like, I might as well just buy an apple at that point. <laughs> Freeze it. See if we can find an actual another one. Ooh, Olina. Hold on. How big are people running things? I think a Lima could be very useful. I don't want to combine those yet, though, so I'm going to do this. So, yeah, get the garlic perk, send that. You can still be my frontline, because you also do have the most HP, but either of these would be fine as well. And, yeah, we'll just wait. I maybe should have frozen the Stotachi, but I don't know. Even if I find a 1 1 Toad, it's not that likely to show up. So, it's fine. That may have it coming back to the main channel. I plan to this year. I probably will be keeping Sap on the Archive channel, though. Which I will also be rebranding. Oh, he's still got one shot. Okay. Haven't found any Tier 2 frogs. There aren't any! It's just these Tier 1s, then Tier 3, 4, 5. Um, I will be combining here, because I would very much like to find a Snipey Frog. I didn't. I could freeze Lobster, and then if I find another thing to play, then that'd be pretty nice. But I don't want to keep it frozen for too long. Nah. Alright, get rid of Lobster. Um, I could fill Bear and we get something out of that. Come on. Another Frog. <laughs> I mean, play it so I have something else on the team. I don't even want this to get this big. Hmm. I don't know what to do with this team. Is the Kino Clips channel made by you? It is. I actually made the channel a very long time ago, but yeah, I need to start posting videos to it like five days, maybe. I did like a stealth launch because I wanted to see how it could do without me promoting it. And it got like five subs. Some people managed to find it. But then, yeah, I announced it yesterday and it um, immediately got to like 100 subs. So thank you to everyone that checked that out. That's a community post notice. Archive channel not long ago. Yes. Sent one yesterday. And I'm buying this. I need the frogman as soon as possible. And maybe I should buy the fairy dust just to have stuff ready. But yeah. I'm not risking toads. Okay, let's get a fairy dust. You can have that. I rolled the other one. Hey, okay, we found a toad. That's nice. Um, everything's weird, but whatever. Big frog. Yeah, maybe I should have just been investing stats into one of these, because if I have level 2 frogs, then I could just use those to swap stats permanently between things that I, you know, don't want and do want. Could have maybe just made, like, a massive cuddle toad and then swapped the stats onto a new Loveland frogman or something. But at the same time, I haven't really missed much. Like, I've scrolled past apples, and that's kind of been it. Oh, incredible jump. Beautiful performance. Alright, so we have a pill. I could buy a food dog to buff my <laughs> tier 5, but yeah, I think I'm good. I think we just buy this. I don't even know if the gingerbread man's worth anything here, so I'm just gonna roll. Because I really want to buy the capybara. If I can roll into something useful, then it'd be really nice. Well, the puppy. I don't know, puppy's potential stats, but just roll all of it. And <laughs> yeah, sure, show me a level in frogman. No. 
Okay. I can't really do anything with any of this. I was tempted to sell something so I could buy sell this now, but it's just not it's not good. Okay, another one of those is nice. Um, let's say do the Garial, but I think I'm going to stick with the Puppy. I'd rather get some stats somewhere. And yeah, just send it again anyway. When do I go live? Um, 6 p.m. GMT. And then it'll be British summertime in summer. And that is bad. Kind of close, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I just combine the Cuddle Toads then? I really want to make room for the Ring Octopus. Stack you, I suppose. Do that instead. Alright. Let's get a lasagna. Do that. I'm going to buy a banana because I am very afraid. And send again. So if we get this guy to level 3, then we can permanently swap stats between different things. I'd have to have really annoying positioning to get any use out of it, and all my things are mostly the same size, but, you know, maybe. Alright, there's, there's some variants here. Loveland Frogman and Poison Dart Frog. So the high tier stuff is coming in. People also have, like, <laughs> weird equipment, double chili. Oh, I'm afraid. People are, like, actually running squads now. Look at that. 1614 with Melon. You got a Loveland Frogman. I'm hoping I can get one. <laughs> it's just so pointless. Alright. At least we're fine here. I mean, my guy, he just jumps for no reason. I haven't even, like, left him at the back for a bigger jump. Alright, I can maybe freeze a Cyclops, because if I find XP there, then it could be nice. Um, You know what? Risk it. Risk it. A cow. No, I will have to get rid of that. Okay, wait. This is good. So we can get an extra XP on you, and he's also just really big and stuff. If we freeze this again, almost tempted to freeze turkey, but if I don't have the other thing ready to buy, then it feels like a bad idea. Yeah, same with you. Alright, you know what, I'm going to shuffle these two, so now this guy will actually jump a little bit further than one space. Still completely pointless, but it might look a little bit cooler. <laughs> he's got a... Yeah, I don't think that's how you're meant to play these, but... Sure. Yeah, see, that's the kind of build he wants. No, we have to trade, like, everything into it. Also, I'm now noticing that maybe having banana just doesn't really do anything if my guy doesn't get one-shots. Because if it survives any damage, then it's just going to get weakness from everyone running a ton of toads. Um, so I'm pretty tempted to put stats onto the Cuddle Toad, because I can maybe then use the Frog to swap them onto something more useful later, and I can get rid of the Cuddle Toads, as opposed to just dumping them all on here. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pill this. Buy this. Let's get the Flashlight, and I'm probably just going to chocolate the Toad, honestly. I could put it onto the Frog, but I, again, I don't have a, a place for it, and it doesn't actually help me for a while. And Kappa, you're kind of scary. Alright, send again. How big are people's front lines? Like, could I benefit from having a front line banana or something? Probably. Almost everyone's front line one shots mine, so I probably could have another summon here and actually get some extra weakness out or <laughs> some other value. I still don't believe I've seen. Oh god, the snipes. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Um, yeah, I need a Loveland Frogman or the Sniper Guy ASAP. <laughs> Please. Okay, wait, we can get one. Of course. <laughs> of course I don't get one. Um. Mm. Yeah, that's not it. I don't think by selling Stoat really helps either. I don't know whether I freeze any of this. And I... Uh, I could do that. Yeah, it's better than popcorn at least. Okay, I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy the Cornucopia as well, though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want any of this. Is Feature of Immortality even in the pack? It isn't, so yeah. It would have been a bad idea to take that, so that's fine. Um, sure, freeze that, roll again. Hill you. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be running this whole <laughs> game without the higher tier stuff. 
which is kind of scary, but, you know, maybe we'll survive. Yeah, I mean, we beat this team. Barely, but we do. You got a cornucopia from a cornucopia. Very nice. Congratulations. All right, just don't hit the frog, please. Anything else is fine, but trying to avoid that. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not bad, but yeah. All right, just, just keep going. Um, I still don't know whether it's worth chocolating the frog. It just feels really pointless. I'm just going to freeze all these. Just show me loads of pills. <laughs> Jinxed it. It would have always happened. I've used up my streamer luck already. Level 2 Warwas pill. You're right, I could be looking for that. Because then I can do all that in one turn instead of having to have um double pill ready. Yeah, I mean... Penis was pretty good there. It's still not going to be enough because they have <laughs> an actual build and I do not. But I have HP and they do not. So maybe someone else will kill them like next turn and then I won't have to face them again. And yeah, I'm just going to buy this. I'll buy and sell, but yeah. Um, so Holy Grail is just dangerous, really, but... I mean, they're both bad. I'm going to be dead in, like, three turns, so... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I really don't know. I feel like I need the stats more than the other things, so I'm just going to do this, I think. Have that out. So you're going to be getting the stats, but you're the front. No, don't bother, because you can already just one-shot something, and that may be better if we're running against a lot of um, spammy snipe stuff. But then, yeah, you can give something weakness, and then you can hopefully get a trade with that. I guess it would be... No, you'd be jumping when this dies. I don't know. It's all a mess. It's all a mess, but... It's fine. <laughs> Didn't really get to use my peanuts there. And yeah, this is just horrifying. Look at this actual team. I'm upset. Where were my guys... Cow. Let's do it. Oh. Manglerfish. Um, there's also a lot of these guys. Okay, so I do have a Loveland, Loveland Frogman. It will only buff this when it jumps. But, like, we're doing it anyway, you know? Even if it's too late to really salvage this, he stays. Yeah, I, I think we just kind of embrace whatever this is now. Ooh, but I could go for another one. <laughs> nah, we, we can't survive that. Alright, steak is kind of nice. Do this. I will try and level him, but again, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference at this stage. Okay, so we're going to get one jump. He's going to get a permanent plus one, plus two. Did you just freeze the walrus and then remove it by buying the angler? I did, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm still glad I did it that way, because honestly, the peanuts weren't going to save this. Wait, do we... Yeah, no, it's not. It is enough. The monkey. Monkey, okay, we live. And I think that was the person that was at, like, the top of the leaderboard a while ago. It's been a while since I checked, but... Hey. A level. Did you even gain anything? I didn't see. Jump the front once when empty thing. Friend jump to give it permanent stats. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> There's a horse pill. I can't combine these. I can't get rid of anything anymore. Yeah, I'm already locked in. I think I do just need to kind of wait it out. I mean, I guess I could have still done the thing. Like, when I first got this, I could have used the frog to swap these stats onto this instead of just putting raw stuff on there, but... Oh, well. Yeah, like, look at these teams. They just look really nice. <laughs> I wanted that. Oh, I almost got a second hit off. Yeah, that's, that's me dead. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Missed out a turn with two levels in my starting shop. I mean, it was enough to defeat me. Alright, where's that? I mean, top 15-ish? That's actually a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah, okay. GG's guys, good game.